Yo, so what it is, cuz, what it is. I hope that y'all had a beautiful, absolutely lovely motherfucking day. I'm in my workshop, you know how it does. I just finished up a day of building some custom vanities I'm working on. Um, and I just wanted to get out here, see if I can make this video real quick, if I can remember everything, because I realize today is December 12th, and I have yet to make my video about what I learned in 31 days of cold showers. So for the month of October, I took cold showers every day, all right? So, so I bought a cheap thermometer on Amazon, right? I, wait, let's, I guess let's slow down a little bit, a little bit. So I was like, I was researching cold showers, shit like that. Boop, doo, 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 doo. And I found a lot of positive things about things you could do. So my, I guess my objective for taking the cold showers was to see if it would help me sleep. I don't sleep very often. I feel like I go, I go time periods where I might go three to six months and don't really sleep. I feel like I just kind of lay down and then I just get back up and, and I don't know, just built like that, I guess. I don't know, you know, working people, maybe stuff on my mind. Maybe I'm not at peace. Who knows? I don't know exactly. You know, still figuring that out. But I was like, all right, the month of October, I'm going to take cold showers. I had already taken cold showers before. I did it. I think I did it 30 days earlier this year of, what are we in, 2022? Maybe like February, March or something. Here where I live in Virginia, that's like probably the coldest time of year, January, February, March. So it was not completely cold when I first took them then. And then month of October is when fall starts. Starts to get cooler, but the groundwater is not cold. Really cool, but not cold. Now me, I'm not... I used to be not very tolerable of cold. Like, I used to be like, damn, I'm fucking freezing. Like, it's cold as a motherfucker. Like, how y'all not cold? Like, I wish I could hibernate. Because I was not feeling how cold it was, no matter what I was doing. Then I get into carpentry, and I go do cabinets. And then I'm doing cabinets in new construction houses. And when the cabinets come in, the AC and shit is not on. You'd, pretty, you'd have to bring your own heat. But there have been times where I didn't have any heat to bring. Whether when I was working for somebody, the heater was malfunction. When I left working for him and I went working for my own for the first month, I didn't have a heater until I was able to afford one. So I've done some installs in some really cold houses, like dead of wintertime, cold as a motherfucker. But I survived because I'm still here to talk shit to y'all, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, I'm going to take showers to see if I can adapt to the cold and to see if it helped help me sleep better. And my sleeping problem I've had is something I've had for years. Like, I feel like I've never really slept good. And the times I do sleep and I have dreams, maybe we'll talk about dreams in another video, so I'm not going to go into that. So that'd be something I'll make a note of that and talk about dreams. So I was like, all right, I'm going to do it. So, all right, your body's 98 degrees, right? And at 98 degrees, depending on how you are, you might be like, all right, you know, 50 degrees is pretty good. 50 degrees is awesome. Like, you know, outside, so to say, 50 degrees, you might put on a sweatshirt. You know, some people with short sleeves and shorts, you might do, you might be the sweatshirt or the long sleeve and shorts kind of person, you know. So 50 degrees is awesome. But when you get in that shower, 50 degrees feel different. So I, my first week of showers, I did the temperature at about 73, 74 degrees. And that was chilly for me. 73 degrees outside is like awesome go outside butt naked 73 degrees 70, 73 degrees in the shower maybe because i don't know because you usually keep your house at like 70 but it, it it felt chilly in there so i did that for a week week two i dropped down to like 65 like about 10 degrees but it was about 65 64 degrees i dropped down to there and there's a couple of days of that won't bad won't bad you know survive all that week three i did not drop immediately down some more about halfway through week three i started to drop from like 64 65 to like 60 59 something like that right when i got about there i guess i can say that 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 cold shower started to feel a little good it started to feel refreshing started to feel less 
<sighs> like, you know, like halfway through week three, you know what I'm saying? Now, it's October. It's not freezing cold in Virginia in October. By the time I got to week four, I went no hot water, just the cold water. But my shower at that time only went down to like, I was trying to get to 55. I think it went down to like between 60 and 65. Maybe less than 65, but not below 60. I think that's where I was at. Trying to, I should have made a note. You know what? I got a journal in my truck that I've been meaning to take out so I can use it. Next time I do it, I'll, I'll actually make notes, right? So, no less than 60. I wanted to get to 55 because I saw somewhere that says, unless you're doing ice baths and full body ice water dip, you know, you start to really see the benefits at about, at showers at about 55 degrees. So my goal at the end of the month was to get to about 55. Fortunately, my shower wouldn't get that low, but it's all good because 60 in the shower was still cold for me. I would get out, my wife would be like, oh, you cold. Like, yeah, you probably don't want to get in with me, but it's plenty of hot water left for you, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't using no hot water. Like I said, about the middle of week three, when I dropped about 60, 65, it started to feel kind of good. I'm usually cold when I get out the shower, but I'm cold anyway when I get out the shower, you know? Personally, I don't like getting wet. I don't like getting in the pool. I don't like getting in the shower and shit like that because I'm always cold after. So that was another thing, like I said, adjusting to the cold. If I could take cool showers, when I get out the shower, the house should feel warm and I should feel pretty good. That kind of helped a little bit. You know, when you just cold, it's just like sweat, you know. You know, you want to get that water off you so you can dry up. And so it kind of helped a little bit. And, you know, we're getting out the shower and not feeling as cold as before as I usually do. Yeah, it's refreshing. So after those 30 days, I'm not going to say I started sleeping well then. Or sleeping better. Maybe not sleeping well, but sleeping better. Not at not, not soon as November hit. First off, what I learned, first thing I learned, it only take you like three to five minutes to wash in the shower. I mean, talking about fully saturate, touching everything, only take you about three to five minutes to wash and be clean. All the sweat, all the sweat germ, all the sawdust, only about three to five minutes for real. After that, now that's still my opinion, you know what I'm saying? After that, you just pretty much wasting water. My take on that. So even with that, I try not to take long showers. There's no point in paying for extra water. I don't want to really be in there anyway. I like to get clean. I like when the water's warm. Feel good. It can be relaxing. You know, but whatever. You know, that's just me to me. You don't need about three to five minutes to shower. Then next thing I learned, I will call it live action meditation now i can say meditation is something kind of new to me within the past year and i have found it very helpful a mixture of a mixture of meditation and distance jogging has helped me because of the way my brain functions now me which having a son helped me realize this so much better but me, I'm like mad ADD. Going to the indoctrination of public school to teach you how to stay focused all motherfucking day and just do what somebody tell you, it didn't work for me. It didn't work, which is why my son is being homeschooled. Meditation and jogging helped me work on the first trace to stay focused. And meditation helped me learn. It's a way to help quiet your mind in a stay focused kind of manner. When you're actively doing something and you need to disassociate yourself from whatever's going on to the live action meditation while still letting the body carry out the motions. To me, that's another skill. And that's when that cold shower thing came in and kind of taught me that. Cause when you first get in the cold shower, like and you ain't never been in and it's shocking, you get in that joint, you be like, ooh. And if you put your face in it, it could take your breath away. It really can. It don't gotta be that cold, like I said. It'd be like 60, it'll take your breath away. When the live action meditation thing come in, you get in there and you're like, it's kind of cold. And you got to tell yourself, take your deep breath, relax your muscles. Get in there, feel it on your body. Because because a cold shower is something you have to deliberately choose to do. You have to deliberately put your body through that type of turmoil or torture or uncomfortability, so to say, to train your body in, in different aspects. So to get in a cold shower and be like, this shit is cold, it's uncomfortable, oh, 
why the fuck am I doing this? You got to be like, I'm doing this. <sighs> Let's get it. And that has helped me with being still in my mind while like communicating with people. The smarter you get, the more you realize how some people may not be as smart and you can very easily be agitated because it, sometimes it can kind of interfere with your communication. So one thing about my communication I've been learning is to try to be clear. This is something I try to do with my clients as best I can. Because sometimes clients have a vision and you know, the more details the client have about their vision, the, the easier it is for you. But when they kind of have an idea, you kind of try to put something together. It's not, it may not be the easiest thing to do. So the live action meditation is the stay calm and stay focused while in the live storm, which may be a good trait to have during worst case scenario, you know, a flight of a fight or flight situation. You may be better learning how to stay calm. So that was the second thing I got from that. What was the third thing I learned? Da -da 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 Damn. This is why I said I should have made a journal because I had a whole list of things. I think I had at least four things. I guess since I can't think of the other things that I learned, I will go into what I have noticed in the changes in my body. So the first thing I have noticed, I guess in the psychological sense, is me being reactive to things. Like I said, you jump in the cold shower, you're like, ooh. But if you learn how to relax, it's like whatever's going on, your body already knows to relax. Relax, analyze the situation. What is my goal in this time? What do I need to do to get past this? Boom, 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 continue. Boom, 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 understand and communicate. That has helped me in that active instance. I don't feel like it has helped my sleep immediately. I do feel like it was weird for my body after the 31 days when I went back to hot showers. But, and and it was weird for my body going back to hot showers to the point that I actually didn't go right back to hot showers. I cut that hot shower down and went to warm showers or just warmer than the cold showers for the sake of seeing the difference and the comfortability. And I think I did that for about a week or two. And then I actually kind of went back to cooler showers for the for the rest of the month in November. You know, we were originally talking about October 31 days, November's 30 days. So about, I did kind of half and half pretty cold and, and warm showers for November. So even now in December, I've kind of gotten to the point that even when I'm doing a pretty warm shower, it's not as hot as I used to do it. And then at the end, I've still been turning the hot water down to get that cold. Now, this past month of December, maybe it's good that I waited this long to make this video and maybe I'll do another update. I do feel like this past month of December, I have slept better. I don't know if this sleeping better is because a couple of things I've done and maybe they all tie in. You know, I've been working on my consistent jogging. I kind of been having issues with my back lady, so I have not been consistently jogging for the past month. But I went today, I felt good today. Meditating. I have not even been consistently meditating. It's something I'm, I'm still working on, getting in the habit of some of these things. Shit. What was I talking about? Shit. With being able to practice meditating and jogging and my live action meditation, it has helped my ADD. It has helped me take control of my ADD to get more accomplished throughout the day with my business, with my home life, paperwork, things I hate, estimates, things I hate. It definitely help me stay focused to get things done. So maybe, maybe in theory, the calm meditation, the jogging, because when you jog, you have to stay focused, continue, the live action meditation, which helped me stay focused to get to work, I feel like I'd be getting more accomplished and maybe me getting more accomplished makes me feel better and relaxes my mind to be able to sleep. Maybe that's what it is. I think that, you know, that in return, I, I would assume contributes to the benefits just and, and, and more of learning how to stay focused and continue what you're doing. Cause jogging, 
you'll get halfway through like i try to do three miles i try i've been doing three miles even if i don't jog the whole time like when i'm having an off day some days i jog i hit like right at 27 minutes today it was like 35 minutes or some shit like that i didn't jog the whole way with jogging you get tired you slow down you slow down you get distracted cars are driving by other people with dogs and you gotta be like nah get back to work nah get back to work nah get back to work you gotta cut it back on and I guess that's when that live action meditation gets in. Because with the temperature changing, it's becoming wintertime. If you stop jogging and you already jogged a little bit, you've been sweating. Now you can start to get cold because now you're moving slower. So that's motivational to help you jogging. And you have to stay focused. Because you have to stay focused on breathing so that you can actually breathe during your jog. Um, and each step. So I jog to music and not to listen to the music because the music not it, it's when i'm jogging i'm in my head a lot i listen to so much music it's not distracting it helps soothe me it helps music helps me music is like my totem to stay in this realm so i'm not trapped in here when i listen to the music i jog to music that is about the tempo that i'm really comfortable with on my jogging pace so there's so much music out here that just listening to the albums I listen to, I listen to a lot of music. It was pretty simple to find music by some of my favorite artists that worked out for the tempo that I like to jog. So I listen, so I jog to the music so I can jog to the beat. And if I jog from beginning to end on the beats, I will actually meet my time perfectly. Within jogging onto that beat, I can make shorter steps i can make longer steps and i can adjust going a little bit faster or a little bit slower while still staying on the beat of those 10 songs and and that has helped me tremendously so if i stay focused enough to keep my feet on the beat it'll keep me moving and i have to stay focused on breathing because as long as my feet move then i have to keep breathing you know when i go jogging and i go build some custom things and whatever get stuff done because i, I put that jogging back in my head as much as i don't want to finish this come on finish come on towards the end i notice I'm, I'm like a person that when i get about three quarters through a job i'm like ah fuck this you know but you can't be like that you gotta finish you gotta finish and that's that's that staying focused you gotta finish so the jogging has helped me in that way which like i said goes back to now i'm getting shit done now my mind is more relaxed i can plan for tomorrow accordingly and now i can sleep a little better so i guess the showers cold showers have helped me sleep better in that instance i guess i can't complain about that Maybe that's all I got to say of what I've learned from the cold showers. I guess to me it's been, oh, and the last thing that I guess has been the most important thing. I've always been, maybe not when I was young, because I do feel like when I was younger, even in the wintertime, it could be a foot of snow and all the kids are still outside, snowballs, basketball, football, and the snow, we didn't give a fuck. As I got older, I guess you get spoiled, so you don't have to go outside. You know, you become your own adult and you start working. You all, you leave your house and go to work. Depending on where you work, it might be warm there. Me now, I work in environments that it's not always warm. And it, that's very unfortunate, but I signed up for this. And that's just what it is. You, you don't get around what you signed up for. I do feel like the cool showers have definitely helped me evolve, adapt to the cooler temperatures outside. To the point of, if it is 50 degrees outside, I like to jog with no shirt. And that is because at 50 degrees or above, I'm going to sweat so much that that shirt is gonna stick to me so much. It'll be so hard to get that shirt off. You'll be like, <sighs> you know, you can wring the shirt out and it's dripping of sweat and it, it gets heavy on me, hold, because that shirt will hold the sweat on me. Maybe I need one of them sweat wicking shirts. I ain't never had one of them. Maybe that's what I need. But I'd rather jog with no shirt. And then 50 or below, I'll wear a shirt. Um, but even even that has gotten to account of, you know, if it was around 30, last year when I went jogging, 30 below, I'd probably have on a long sleeve shirt, a thermal or something, and a sweatshirt and go jogging. Now, I'll probably put on a t-shirt and a sweatshirt or maybe just a sweatshirt um and go jogging in 30 or below you know i guess if it's like 15 somewhere around there 15 20 below 
you know, I probably definitely wear the long sleeve shirt. I always wear gloves. My hands do be cold. Surprisingly, my hands are not cold right now. You know, I'm in my workshop. My workshop is not insulated in any way. And there's no point in me heating it up. You know, we're at the end of the day right now. I finished working. So it's definitely helped me evolve. I guess that would be also a mixture of the cold showers and the jogging in the cold. You know, definitely adapted. I feel less vulnerable to the cold. I do feel like the 30 days was worth it. I'll probably do it again. See how much colder I can do in the shower. See what else I learn about myself. You know, one main thing I learned about myself is I can choose to do difficult things and succeed, essentially. I can definitely do that. Yeah. So, which kind of set me up to feel like, you know, I'm prepared for anything as I choose to continue my journey, grow my business, all my businesses. A um, quick word from my, my sponsor. The more I stopped being blindly led and confused by the magic tricks of the world, the more I realized how beautifully different everyone in this realm is. The more I realized how beautifully different everyone in this realm is, the more I realized the niche I fit in was not here. So here we are, Saw Blade Daddy. We're fathers and carpenters, leaders, men, and independent thinkers differently alike. All have a place to be themselves. Because why not? So check out SawBladeDaddy.com. Get you a Sawblade Daddy t-shirt, sweatshirt. Or Pro People Anti-Government t-shirt, sweatshirt. More things to store. Check it out. SawBladeDaddy.com. As always, stay safe and stay dangerous. So yeah, right back. If I can deliberately go through tough things and live action meditate and stay focused to get it done and get it accomplished. And I've been feeling better about that, which which was very important to me coming up on wintertime. Like I said, I really wish I could hibernate because you wouldn't see me till April, the end of April, March, something like that. But I'm not financially in a position to do that. When I am, I don't know, maybe I'll be even more adopted to the cold by the time I'm that in that financial position to hibernate in the winter. And I'm still not going to want to be in the house. I don't like being in the house. I don't like leaving my house, but it don't mean I want to be in the house. If I can just be outside at my house and never leave, that'd be cool with me. My cold shower experience so far, I guess, is a, a success story in a sense. I don't have complaints. It can be uncomfortable. It, it will be uncomfortable. Not can be. It absolutely will be uncomfortable. It might change your perspective on yourself, on what you can endure, what you what you think you can endure. Are you really going to agree, agree to yourself that you're going to do something challenging like this and continue to do something challenging, which is what I want it to. As I continue to go to the next levels of my business, it'll be something different for me. It'll be completely different from times before me and that's what I'm ready to do you know that's what Saw Blade Daddy's about better every day learning something with my live action meditation and stuff this is something I can pass on to my son if I can teach my son to focus and live action meditate get his tasks accomplished before he's an adult in which I intend to he'll very easily be more successful than me I feel like I built my business in a very a very good way to realize that I was not as focused as I should have been because I didn't know I wasn't focused. So now I'm realizing I was not focused and how much better I can be, you know, that's been a very intentional goal of mine. And so far it's, it's looking very good. You know, I don't have, I don't have complaints about that. You know, I don't, I feel very pleased, I feel privileged. Because I realized, too, that um, some people take cold showers every day because that's the only water that comes out. That's the only water they can get. So I felt very privileged to be able to also take a cold shower with the ability to make it warm if I so choose. So, yeah, that's my take on that. No point in dragging this out any longer. thought this was going to be a 10-minute video. Turn to a 30-minute video. I'm going to cut it down, see if I can get it less than 20 minutes. I should be able to. So with that being said, stay tuned for the next episode. I was glad. If you came to listen to this, I hope you learned some. Maybe you try cold showers if you have. Drop me a comment. Tell me what your experience was. My next attempt, I'll probably do some more cold showers. My next attempt is probably 
the ice dip. I wish I can get some type of container. I've seen people have like a metal bin. They fill it up with water and leave it outside overnight. And that don't be ice fucking frozen. This one dude said he dipped like three to five times a week in the ice water for like three to eight minutes every time. And he's noticed significant changes and pain in his body. And I was like, to me, that was fucking amazing. Like, you know, that'd be something I'd be reaching for too. So it's worth a try. You've had that experience. Let me know. As always, stay safe, stay dangerous. You'll be better every day. I gotta go, your mama calling.